For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Colombia has been witnessing one of the largest uprisings in its history. The national strike, which began on April 28th, was organized by trade unions, social movements, and left political parties. The triggering point was the presentation of the Sustainable Solidarity Bill by Finance Minister Alberto Carasquilla. It was actually a tax reform bill attempting to make Colombia's working class pay for its fiscal deficit. The Solidarity Bill would have increased the VAT on staple goods, public services, tax on agricultural inputs, and pensions. The strike committee and the national government have been engaged in talks for over a week and agreed on a document of pre-agreements. These pre-agreements will now be examined by the strike committee's assembly and by other government representatives. Either way, many social organizations and protesters have expressed that they do not feel represented by the body participating in negotiations and they will continue on the streets regardless. Their key demand is an immediate end to the violent repression by state forces and the demilitarization of the cities. They have also called for the resignation of Defense Minister Diego Molano. In Colombia, the police and the army both fall under the Ministry of Defense, so Molano has been identified as the key person responsible for the brutal repression against peaceful protesters and numerous other human rights violations committed by national security forces during the past four weeks of national strike. Currently, the Congress of Colombia is debating and will vote on two motions of censure presented by the progressive opposition parties against Defense Minister Molano this week. According to the human rights organization Temblores, between April 28th and May 24th, a total of 3,155 cases of police violence were registered. These included 955 victims of physical violence, 43 deaths, 1,388 arbitrary arrests, 595 violent interventions, 46 victims with eye injuries, 165 cases of shooting with firearms, 22 victims of sexual violence, and 6 victims of gender-based violence. Several national and international social and political leaders, as well as human rights organizations, have expressed their concerns regarding the excessive use of force and the implementation of military assistance programs to suppress social protests. The Inter-American Human Rights Commission has repeatedly asked the government of Duque permission to visit the country and carry out human rights verification. But on Monday, May 24th, the government denied the request. On May 25th, the International Mission of Solidarity and Human Rights Observation arrived in Colombia. The mission is made up of different human rights and social organizations from Argentina and other countries in the region and has the objective to verify denouncements received of human rights violations committed by the Colombian forces during the national strike. Upon arrival to the country, Colombian migration authorities denied entrance to Pongraboy, declaring him a risk to state security.